Once you've received your invite from your teacher, you'll need to navigate to Musi.studio. Once you're here, you can either sign in with Google, which will automatically create an account using your Gmail, or you can use the don't have an account, join here. If you click that button, you can choose sign up as a student, and then you'll be prompted to fill out the form. All users do need an email address. If you don't have an email address, you can reach out to us and we can help you out. Similarly, with phone numbers, you do need a cell phone number. So if you don't have a cell phone, you can reach out to us and we can help you there. This is where you'll enter in the teacher code that you received in your invite email. And then join now. On this page, you'll enter the token that is sent to your phone. If you don't have a phone number that you can use, you can also have this sent to your email address if you need. Enter in the instrument that you play. Just select one for now. You can add more later. Click Next. And you're now in your account. From here, you'll have access to all the resources that are shared to you by your teacher, any announcements that your teacher might make, and you can access lessons and materials right from this dashboard. You have your practice timer, your metronome, and other built-in practice tools that you can use anytime. If you have any questions, use this help chat in the corner to talk to anybody on the Musi team whenever you need. When your lessons show up, they'll show up here under the set up your audio and video. I do suggest you set up your audio and video before you start your lesson. From the audio and video window, you'll see that you'll have access to different cameras and microphones. You can use this drop down to select the camera and microphone that you'd like to use in the lesson. Once you have everything set up, hit save. If for some reason your microphone or camera are not showing up in this menu, click the refresh button to reconnect to all of your devices. You will notice that the last option here is grayed out. This is the speaker output. The browser cannot control this, so you will have to go to your system preferences if you would wish to change this. To test it, just click the speaker, and if you, hit, if you hear that bell, then it's working. If there's any other issues, you can use the test connection button anytime to run a detailed report on what's going on on your computer or your device. When this is done, it will tell you exactly what's wrong, and it will even tell you how your Wi-Fi is performing. So if there's any network issues during a lesson, you can also use this. If you're not sure about what you see in this little form here, you can do send test results to support, and we'll take a look for you, and we'll get back to you from that little chat support. Once you hit save, you're ready for your lesson. Once your lesson appears, you'll click join lesson, and you'll see down here that you can either set up your audio and video if that's not already connected, or you can click start. When you click start, you'll be entered right into the lesson room and you can begin your lesson.